morning, guys. Oh, re really? <laughs> I'm already locked in. Let's try that one more time. Good morning. morning. Hey, hey, we're locked in. Fantastic. That's awesome. Great. Uh, my name is Jeff Fox. I'm the recruiting coordinator at Cabot University, Division Three School, Orange County, California. My wonderful window of my office looks and stares at the Big A. It's a pretty neat little spot. We're about five minutes away from Disneyland, ten minutes away from Newport Beach. Beautiful, beautiful area. Uh, I'm the recruiting coordinator there. I've, I've done quite a few recruiting seminars with parents and players throughout the course of my time there. Um, what I want to do is just talk to you guys briefly about the basic gist of how you make it to the next level. Because all you guys want to be at that next level, correct? You don't want to be college baseball players. There's a reason why you're here. It's what you want to do. It's what you want to accomplish. Statistics will tell you 94% of high school baseball players do not play at the college level. And that's a huge number right there. 94%, okay? Um, we all know about politics right now, right? We've got an election coming up. One of the things we always talk about, the one percenters, okay? All oh, the one percenters and all their tax funds. So, how do you become a six percenter? How do you become that six percenter and guarantee yourself a spot at the next level? It's a challenge, it truly is. The biggest thing I can tell you guys moving forward is be proactive. You're recruiting us as much as we're recruiting you. It's a two-way street, okay? When it comes to resources for an institution like myself, okay, I'll get an email from a kid, hey, Coach Fox, we want to be a part of Chapman University. Here are my statistics. Here's my schedule for this upcoming fall and, and spring. And we've got a big, big weekend scheduled up uh, this, this coming weekend out here in, in Tampa, Florida. Please come see me play. Said. Okay, well... Unfortunately, I don't have the resources to just hop on a plane, come see you on a Saturday night in Tampa, Florida, and head back over to California the, the next day. Just don't have it. Just don't have it. So how do you get yourself out there so we know who you are? Videos. Videos are extremely important. We need to see your actions. What kind of actions do you have? Okay, statistics are great. They're fantastic. They're awesome. For us, seeing is believing. So we need to see your actions. So a kid from Florida wants me to know about him. Stats are great, that's fantastic. But until he shows me physical evidence, this in this case via a video, there's no way for me to know. I'm gonna have to go off a hunch. And well, my paycheck basically is a, is a reflection of how we bring in student athletes in our institution, how successful we are. I can't go off a hunch. I can't do that. That's my livelihood. That's my six-year-old and my three-year-old staring at me going, Hey, we need dinner tonight. So I can't do that. I gotta see something. I gotta be a visual learner, okay? So, sending videos, extremely important for us. We love seeing that, okay? Um, so doing that number is, is extremely important, being proactive. Understand that it's your career. It's your career. I'll get another email. Dear Coach Fox, we're gonna be a part of Chatham University. Here are my statistics. Here's a video of me. Everything looks great. Signed, Sally, Joey's mom. I'll get this tomorrow, I promise you. I'll get an email tomorrow <laughs> from Sally. Last time I checked, when, I, when we had our 6 a.m. weight classes last week, we started school last week, our 6 a.m. weight class Monday morning, Sally was not there. Joey was. Joey was there. So when we get those emails, we get those phone calls, it better be from you. If it's from anybody else, you know what I do? Delete. I don't even, I don't even look at the video. If it's from Sally, Sally's not coming to my school. So how truly invested is, is the potential recruit? Probably not very invested at all. He's probably looking at our school and just kind of, oh, that's an option. I guess it's an option. Mom, go ahead and write it for me. Go ahead and send it. Nope. We don't know. We're not gonna accept it. At least that's from us. Okay? That's how that's how that's how we roll. Most schools are gonna be in that same situation. They're gonna be in that same boat. Okay. So how do you find the right place? How do you find the right place? Be proactive and get yourself in front of those those institutions. You should have fifteen to twenty schools that you feel are the right fit. It's a term that we use quite often. The right fit. 
And that fit usually revolves around four key pieces. The athletic fit, the academic fit, the social fit, and the financial fit. Now again, we could talk all day long about all four of those things. From an academic fit, I hope every single one of you has a 20-year David Ortiz, Mario Rivera, Major League career. That's what I wanted. That's what we should all want. However, how many of those are there? Not very many. So, when it comes to academics, your academics should be just as important as your athletic fit. Because at the end of the day, that, act, that degree in your hand is your backbone. The degree in your hand is going to tell you how your life is going to be successful or not down the road. If you decide to just go to some school, you're watching uh, Alabama USC last night, okay? And you see the starting lineups for the offensive line at Alabama. And underneath, typically, they'll tell you what degree they're getting. For some of them, it says basket weaving. Not kidding you, it'll say something just really random, and you're going, what are you going to do with that? What honestly are you going to do with that degree? Nothing. You're going to have to go back to school, do a different degree on all, in, in entirety, and spend an extra however much in tuition, cost of books, all that fun stuff. Okay, great. Now you just spent eight years of your time getting a degree you could have done in four years. And their goal, their aspirations are to play professionally. And not all of them are going to make it. Just like not all of us made it. Every single one of these coaches had those aspirations. Some of us got a little sip of coffee. Some of us didn't quite get there. But for me, in order for me to be able to be at Chapman University, I have to also teach there. That's a part-time teaching job. So I had to have my master's degree. So not only did I get my bachelor's, but I had to go get my master's as well. So academics, at some point in time in your life, is going to come into play. When you're looking at potential schools, know that you have a degree that's there that you can take a hold of and utilize down the road and be productive in that in that area. Okay, so find those find those key pieces there. Um, the way that I always tell parents and players when it comes to financial financial situations, what you see tuition wise, what you see room and board wise, the total cost of attendance, things of that nature, it's just like going to a car dealership. You go to a car dealership. There's a sticker, right? Always posted on every windshield of every car. This is how much it costs. Great, awesome. We know that about eight hours later, after we've got done hanging out with the general manager for a while, that price is gonna come down. The price is gonna come down to a position that we are comfortable with walking away and, and taking that car with us as we're, we're leaving the lot. It's the same thing with school. So contact financial aid, fill out your password information, Contact admissions, see what kind of opportunities are there from a either academic scholarship, merit scholarship, financial aid, okay, work study options, things of that nature, and see how that price of that particular tuition or cost of attendance can now actually come down. Some students on our campus that are paying this. Zero. They're not paying, they're paying a dime. Because our university wants an individual on campus. So here you go, here, come to our school, please, please. Well, if you're gonna make it free, I guess so. I'll go to that school. And then there's some students on our campus that are paying the full 60. That's their prerogative, okay? Most are gonna be somewhere in between there. Any head coach, recruiting coordinator comes to you and says, oh yeah, this is gonna be your financial situation. Uh-uh, no, 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 Say, just shake your head, nod, okay, sounds great. And then contact financial aid that specific financial aid office of that institution and ask them what's available because they'll be able to answer those questions for you um, in a much more um, uh, informative uh, session and you'll be able to have more information at that point in time okay so you find all four of those fits athletic academic social financial hey this institution's a possibility hit it again be proactive contact those schools Email them, phone call, do everything you can. It's your career. Mom and dad are gonna help. Dad, they're gonna be there for you. But it's your career, ultimately, okay? Uh, but if you do that, I promise you, you'll, you'll, you'll find the right spot. You'll be in that 6% as opposed to that 94%, okay? Uh, but be proactive, that's, that's the biggest thing for me, okay? Um, if I can answer maybe a question or two, is there anything that I can, answer off the top of anybody's head. I know, I, like I said, I just kind of went through a whirlwind right there with you guys. Yes, sir, do you have a question? Yeah, 
Yeah, what do most coaches look for in the videos that you guys get? Uh, basic action. So, you know, depending upon what position he is, okay, if he's a position player, seeing him defensively at that position. So if he's an outfielder, watching him field balls, you know, in the outfield, making good clean throws, things of that nature. So seeing trajectory out of the hand, um, you know, accuracy is, is, is one thing, but, you know, seeing trajectory out of the hand, seeing the kind of arm strength that's out of that, that arm as it's coming out of the hand, um, you know, infield-wise, again, the footwork, transfers, all that kind of fun stuff, how that throw goes across the diamond to the first baseman. Um, all those are key things that we look for. Offensively, you know, just having that nice side view, being able to see, does he keep his hands inside? So side view, back view as well. Um, how does that ball come off the barrel? Those kind of things are all the things that we look for. Pitching wise, again, you know, it could just be an easy bullpen session, but how's that can't, you know, how's the ball come out of the hand? A lot of times we like to see that behind the catcher view. So seeing what the actually, how that curveball breaks, how that change of dives, does that fastball run a little bit? So seeing that kind of action, okay? And parents, I'm gonna say this, I love you all, okay? Because without you guys, we're not here today. Um, but you guys have all heard the term beer goggles, correct? Okay, these guys haven't yet, but you guys have heard that term beer goggles. What I consider beer goggles as a coach, this right here, okay? So not only am I gonna have to go through this from some of your guys' wonderful cameras, but you're also gonna be about 30 yards up on top of the stadium, and you're gonna be shooting down this direction, through this, through another screen, because we're gonna have screens up here during the game. So there's gonna be screens you know, in front of us as coaches as we're watching your, your son's play. So now all of a sudden there's two sets of screens and you're way up here. It's hard for me to really gauge how good of a player your son is, okay? Now he might drive a ball to left center for a double. That's awesome, fantastic. But was he throwing 95 and he did it? Or was he throwing 65? And my eyes used to be really good. I'm not playing anymore though, for a reason. Because my eyes aren't as good anymore, okay? So that's something that we need to make sure we're getting as clear of a picture as possible when it comes to those videos. If it's not very clear to us, again, we're now we're having to guesstimate. And, it, and if my livelihood depends on that, I'm gonna look somewhere else. We'll look somewhere else at that point. Okay. Does that answer your question, sir? Yeah. Awesome. Sweet. Um, I think at that point, right? Any other questions? We're good? Okay. Awesome. Fantastic. Uh, again, be proactive. If there's really anything that you get out of this, find 15 to 20 schools that are those right fits, those four fits are, are checked off, and then be proactive. And the minute you get a positive response, you hammer that school as, as fast as possible and try to get the ball rolling. Okay, whatever they need at that point in time. All right, you start asking those questions and we start getting information back out to you. And now things start quickening up a bit and you can make those 15 to 20 schools turn into four or five real quickly because, hey, these are gonna be even more, more better fits for me down the road, okay? Awesome, fantastic. Well, I think you guys are going back to the dugout now. Parents, I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, no worries, no worries. Thank you. Anything else? You guys are good? Awesome, fantastic. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it, appreciate it.